Qatar Airways says it learned about the rejection of its extra flights to Australia through media reports. Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani holds a phone call with the Bahraini king following a Houthi attack. More good news for tourism as Qatar marks a 95% growth in international tourist arrivals. And in sports, Jim Ratcliffe is readjusting his offer for Man United. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar Airways said it found out that its bid for additional flights into Australia was rejected through media reports rather than direct the communication with the government. Qatar Airways senior vice president said the Gulf carrier learned of the decision through the media in early July and only received an official notification from the government 10 days later. He said, quote, It was shocking for us to get the decision through the media and it was more shocking that we received the letter later which does not describe why. Qatar Airways had sought approval from the government for an increase in weekly flights into Australia but was rejected amid reported lobbying by Qantas. Now, Australia is locked in a major debate as the government faces pressure to disclose the reason for the rejection. Here in Qatar, Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani offered his condolences to Bahrain's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in a phone call on Tuesday. This occurred after the Bahraini military confirmed two of its soldiers were killed along the Yemen Saudi border. The attack has drawn condemnations worldwide and has put into question recent developments to end the Saudi led coalition intervention in Yemen. And now, Qatar has been ranked as the best performing destination in the January to July period according to the World Tourism Organization. It recorded a 95% increase in the number of international tourist arrivals up until July, surpassing the pre-pandemic levels and reaching a new record. And finally, British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe is reportedly quote restructuring his bid to buy Manchester United with a sixth offer. This is said to be an attempt to break a deadlock with the Glazer family. Ten months have passed and even though there have been numerous rounds of bidding and offers exceeding $6.1 billion reported, the family has not reached a conclusion regarding the club's future. Ratcliffe is up against Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani, a lifelong United fan. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.